levels of mind. We are now going to introduce you to a symbol that we've been using for a very long time in these classes called mind cake. I would like you to imagine a nice big old chunky slice of Duncan Hines three layer cake. This is your mind. This is your mind on cake. <laughs> the top level is called the conscious. The conscious mind. The monkey mind. The chattering mind. That's when you can't sleep because the mind's going like this. Talking, 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 talking. It is the repository of the five senses, that mind. It's called the monkey mind because it's imitative. It's how we learn how to talk as kids. It's how we learn how to do everything, really, that would monkey see, monkey do. That being said, the conscious mind, you need it. But it is the smallest percentage. I love that we draw it in like three almost equal like portions because there's no way that they're equal. Think more like the tip of a boat. Your conscious mind is what directs you. It's your focus. It's your focus. It is necessary. You could not live in this world without that filter of focus because you would be overwhelmed by sensory stimuli. It's what you're listening to me with, the conscious mind. It's what you're focusing through your eyes with. That's why you're not back in ancient Egypt or on planet Claire, B-52's reference. You're here and now. Though the mind may drift, you can bring yourself right back to focus here and now. So the conscious mind. Good? Questions about the conscious mind? What's under the conscious mind? 